that has emotions running very, very high. KSHB 41 reporter Lili O'Shea Becker live at a polling place for us. And I know you talk with voters to get their, their thoughts leading up to Election Day, Lily. Yeah, Kevin, I did talk with voters today because a recent poll by Scripps News shows that 37% of Americans are anxious heading into this presidential election. So we headed over to this polling site in Kansas City, Missouri, to talk with voters about how they're feeling. Here's what they had to say. It, it keeps you up at night, actually. <laughs> you know, it's, it's stressful. No. No? No, positive. I mean, I was stressed, but now I'm just kind of like... Excited to see what happens. St. Luke's clinical psychologist Dr. Katie Harry says there's a science behind the anxiety felt by some Americans. The human brain doesn't like uncertainty. We like information, it's a problem solving machine, and there's a ton of uncertainty around the election. Brendan O'Neill says he gets anxious every election cycle, but that this election is different. I think we've gone a place in our country with the toxicity and politics that I never thought we would go, and I just, I just kind of want that to disappear. Dr. Harry says it can feel like your brain is flooded with election information. Voter Michelle McLean knows that feeling all too well. You know, you're just bombarded with constant messaging on television, commercials, you know, flyers in the mail. It's everywhere. Dr. Harry says there are some ways to decrease election anxiety. I think first and foremost is recognizing things within your control. So ways that you can vote or make positive actions, volunteering, supporting causes. <laughs> Yeah, and Dr. Harry says limiting your exposure to election coverage can also help. She says 30 to 60 minutes a day is a good rule of thumb. Reporting in Kansas City, Missouri, Lily O'Shea Becker, KSHB 41 News. Back to you guys.